Hello and welcome to Multicopter Build. Today we're going to take a little detour from the multi-rotor world and we're going to unbox the Pine 64. Now the Pine 64 is a small supercomputer. Um, well, not a supercomputer compared to those big server closets you can get, get with, with specs completely out of this world. Um, but a supercomputer compared to its size, um, it's, it's basically a, a computer um, on one single PDB. Um, it is kind of like um, the Raspberry Pi or the Arduino, uh, but the difference is that it is much more powerful than a Raspberry Pi and especially than a Arduino. It was a Kickstarter campaign that ran uh, from around January to February 2016. Um, I ordered it by the end of January. Uh, I didn't really expect it to show up now. I expected it to show up in May, um, but now it's just fine. Um, so today we're gonna take a look at exactly what what is the Pine64. It comes in three different versions. Basically the versions are almost the same. The only difference really is uh, the amount of RAM that is on inside. The first version comes with 512 megabytes of DDR3 RAM. Um, the, meet, the mid version, which is $19 compared to $15 for the first one, um, comes with one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM. Um, and the last one, which is this one, um, comes with two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and costs $29. So basically that's, that's the three different versions. And uh, I have the $29 version, the um, two gigabyte DDR3 RAM, and uh, let's go ahead and open that up. So to open this up, um, I got an envelope, a uh, bubble wrapped envelope, and I just took this out. And this was the only thing that was inside. Uh, there was three things inside. There was a box with the Pine 64, um, and there was this thing, which I believe was the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module, because I ordered that with it. Um, and this button here, I don't know what exactly that should be used for, because that was just laying around in the box, but we'll have a look and see what's inside. Now, I don't know yet what I'm going to use this for. Um, I, I'm thinking that it could be cool to, to build a computer uh, running Ubuntu or some sort of, of Android. Um, but since it only has, has a power consumption of 2.5 watts, it could be cool to, to build a computer that could run purely on solar power. I don't know if that's possible yet, I just ordered it on Kickstarter uh, and thought I would have a look at it when it arrived. So uh, let's go ahead and, and open this up um, to see what's actually inside. You have a lot of, of um, disclaimer thingy down here. You see which version it is here. That's the first version, 512. Uh, megabytes of RAM, the one gigabyte version and the two gigabyte version. And this is the two gigabyte version. Um, so just un unslice that and here we go. So the first sighting I have had as of this as well. Um, so it comes in an anti-static bag which is quite nice. Um, let's just put this aside. So we have the board here, let's just open it up. Some tape right here. Here we go. So here we are. This is the Pine 64. Um, it uses the A64 ARM chip, um, or it has an ARM chip, 1.2 gigahertz um, quad core, which is this one. Um, it has the the uh, 4K capable HDMI port right here, um, which I'm looking very much forward to seeing how that uh, turns out. It has an Ethernet port here, um, if you were to use that. I have the Wi-Fi module, so I will use that instead. And that should be placed down here, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but I believe it should be because it seems the same size. Let's just go ahead and open this up as well. So here we go, and here is an antenna as well. So you can actually, with some double-sided tape, so you can actually tape the end of the receiver, uh, the antenna somewhere. So this is the Wi-Fi module and the Bluetooth module. This should be both on here. Um, and it should be placed like this, I believe. So, and then just press it down, but I'm not gonna do that right now. But it fits right there. Uh, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module just plug straight in. It's actually quite a bit bigger than I, what I thought it would be. I thought it would, it would be like a little bit smaller, maybe, maybe this size. 
we can just see this this size if we I thought that was gonna be this size, but not that the size really matter, but but I thought it would be a little bit smaller. So we have different ports over here. It's it's um I believe it's the input output ports, there's some user bus ports. Um so and we have the two USB 3.0 uh, right down here, and we have the jack cable um, and the SD card slot, which I believe is a micro micro SD card. Um, so this button right here, I don't know where that should be placed. Um, don't know what that's for, uh, but it should be placed somewhere. I don't know what, but anyway, this is the first look of the Pine 64, and if you stick around we will use this for something. I do not know it yet. Um, I would have liked to have the 8000 mAh um, lithium battery with it that you could order, uh, but they didn't ship that outside of the United States. So if they have found something out by now, or if we can buy something very similar, I will do that. But this is the first look, and uh, I don't know yet what I'm gonna use it for. Um, it'll be fun, but um, if you stick around on this channel, hopefully we can figure that out together. And this is just the bottom view of that, of the Pine 64. It seems a bit, it's not probably cleaned. Could just be cleaned a little bit better, but not that that would really impact on performance. Um, but all in all, it seems, it seems like a, a good chip. Um, and I'm looking very much forward to working with it. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye!